So what's the one thing you need to do to avoid filing bankruptcy? It's really simple and obvious, and that is to not file bankruptcy. Now, I'm not telling you that bankruptcy is always a bad option. What I am gonna tell you is it's a secret in the bankruptcy industry. And that secret is, it's not very difficult to file Chapter 7 or Chapter 13 bankruptcies, not if you just wanna file bankruptcies. And there are many, 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 many lawyers out there. All they do is bankruptcy, and all they do is push people into bankruptcy. It's not always your best option. If you have been wronged, if you have been cheated, if, so, if a financing entity has stolen money from you or lied when you bought the car or breached a modification agreement for to resolve the issue regarding your house and you go to a bankruptcy attorney and they say, oh yeah, you need to file bankruptcy. Stop, turn around, and run out the damn door. Bankruptcy is a tool. It is not an end. It is an incredibly important tool. It is a useful, required tool in the arsenal of things to do when facing problems. Now, are there bankruptcy attorneys out there who all they do is bankruptcy and who are, number one, ethical, excellent attorneys and look out for the best interests of their client? Of course. I know who they are because I refer business to them all the time. And I know who they are because they get clients in who shouldn't file bankruptcy and they send them to me. That's money off their table, out of their pocket, to do things the right way. If you were wronged, you have rights. If you are a homeowner in trouble and you're not wronged, you have rights. If you're dealing with a debt collector who's chasing you down in the debt you owe, you might have rights. Maybe bankruptcy is the right option. And I explore it for many, many of my clients. And I send my clients and my potential clients money out of my pocket to the good bankruptcy attorneys around the state who I do business with who don't treat my clients and their clients like a cash cow, but treat them as people who need help, who need justice, and who need proper, intelligent, fair, smart, and honest legal representation. But I want you to take something away from this, and it is this. If you think you have rights that are not being respected by the financial industry, you're right and you probably have more rights than you know. Because I can't tell you the number of times people come to me and say, you know, the bank cheated me, I can't do anything, what do I do? Talk to me. If we can find a way to sue the bank, we will. If we can find a way to sue the debt collector to make your debt go away, we will. And that doesn't necessarily involve bankruptcy. Sometimes it does, but it's not your first stop.